on this board there was uh, two e-prongs, one here and the other there. I've had to remove them because the uh, clip and these clips, atrocious things these are, I couldn't make a good contact no matter the fact that I'd actually cleaned the legs of the um, chips as best as possible and I still had trouble making a good contact. So in the end I just removed them. Um, the board comes from um, a Samsung uh, display monitor and uh, the two chips, this EEPROM here was uh, a 25 series and the EEPROM here was a 24 series EEPROM and I thought it would be interesting to uh, show you programming a 24 series EEPROM um, on Windows using as programmer um, I have it mounted in uh, one of these little holders and the number on it from memory is, uh, is uh, S24CO8 well let, hang on let's quote it properly and uh, show you what I mean um, yes with my trusty loop uh, which is I sort of thing I use to uh, look at the uh, numbers on the EEPROMs when I'm going over a board. Uh, the uh, S24CS08AVH7. What a mouthful. Um, interpreting that, I interpret that as a C as a 24C08 EEPROM and of course using a CH341A EEPROM programmer now I've got to put this little device in the in the 24 series slot and that's in and we're ready to go and from here on we'll go over to the computer I'm going to open a version of AS Programmer 141, which is the earlier version. We set it to read an I2C chip, and you'll notice that the detect chip is greyed out. So now it's reliant upon us to put in the chip information. In this case, it's a 24C64 device, and so we go down a list, I2Cs, 24s, and there's 64. That's the one we're going to select. Let's read it, see what's on there. Now I can't stress to you enough that it's up to you to put the details of the chip in, in this instance. Um, and it's blank. Uh, let me open uh, add a open a file rather. I'll open a file and program it with this file. I've got a very short file here, and it's just a small bit of text. That's all. And we're going to program that into the chip program IC. Yes. Now that's been programmed in. We need to read it. And there you have it. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. Now if we've got the wrong setting in there, not all the data will be correct up here. So beware of that. And um, so get your ice, get the EEPROM number, put it in manually, and you should be okay. Um, the later version of AS Programmer which I will open. We'll uh, read the chip. Ah, oh, we've got to set the I, what type of chip we're doing, I2C. And we're this time it's not greyed out, we can actually detect the chip. 
and it says 24C64 generic and that's exactly what I've got in there I'm happy with that it may not always work but um, if it don't rely upon the details you get from here if you've got them on your chip uh, you can read it the uh, type of chip it is come up here IC I2C and uh, set it manually and that will probably be the safest option now let's read what's on the chip now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party okay now I'm now going to erase the chip yeah, erase IC select the IC yes Theoretically, we should erase it. And it says successfully done. Let's read and see what we've got. And there we have. Back to having a blank chip again. Um, I'll leave it there. Keep it simple. Play around with it yourself. It works. That's using CH341A EEPROM programmer with uh, 24 series EEPROMs. And uh, as Windows uh, running as programmer.